Well, welcome back. In this segment, I will talk about the leave instruction. If you look at any C code and compile your function, you will very likely see something like push EBB, move ESP to EBB, and at the end, you will see leave and ret. My goal is to explain what is the meaning of leave more precisely. Okay, let's pay attention to the two instructions I placed inside the box. The very first instruction is push EBB. Okay, whatever EBB value is, we are pushing to the stack. Let's assume we don't know exactly the stack state. We don't care for this particular demo. The, there is some value already before uh, our instruction is executed, right? The stack is growing from high memory address to low memory address. And the very first thing we're doing is push EBB. That means we are going to put the value of EBB here. So EBB value will be placed here, okay? Then the stack pointer is actually pointing here. Right, that is the meaning of push. The next instruction says move ESP to EBB. That means now both EBB and ESP registers, they both point to the same location. Okay, so that is the meaning of this particular statement. So EBB is also pointing to place where the EBB is stored. ESP is also pointing to the place where EBB is stored. Okay, what is the next instruction? The next instruction says subtract ESB by 16 in hex it is one zero. ESP, let's say this is another four byte, four byte, eight, 12, 16, right? So now the ESP will be pointing 16 bytes below. Okay, so ESP is over here. All right, the question now is what is the meaning of leave? Okay, let me demonstrate that leave is essentially used to reconstruct the uh, state of ESP as it was over here at this point. When the push EBB was about to run, ESP was pointing somewhere. We did push EBB and then we also adjusted the ESP here, right? Leave is helping to reconstruct the state, meaning the state of the, the stack and the base pointer and the ESP pointer before the first instruction got executed. Let's say the state of the stack was like this, right? Right, exactly the, the same thing that I have drawn here. So we, we will get back exactly this state, okay? Meaning um, the stack pointer will point to this location and we will recover the old EBB value, okay? That is the goal of leave. Leave is to reconstruct or recover the state that, that, that was originally there before the very first push EBB instruction and move ESP to EBB executed, okay? All right, let's confirm this first. So I will compile this code, link it, then we load it into GDB to study the behavior of leave. Let's assemble the start. I will print the value of EX, EBB and ESP, the breakpoint, let's now run it. I'll show you the value of EX, ESP. Okay, some number, we don't care. And EBB is zero. Now let's do the push EBB, that's the very first instruction. So the ESP now should go down by four bytes. We can confirm that. Yeah, it went down by four bytes. But on the top of the stack, we should now see the EBB because we did push EBB. So we can check that. Yeah, you see here, it's zero, which is exactly what we have here. Okay, so because of the push EBB. And next instruction says move ESP to EBB. That means both EBB and ESP will point to the same location. Okay, let's do that. ESP and EBB are pointing to the same location. And next instruction says, what is the next instruction? The next instruction says subtract ESP by 16. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we went down 16. If you subtract 16 from 9C, you will get 8C. Okay, that's good. You can confirm if you are not clear the difference between 9C and 8C in X is 16. Okay, and now let's say what are the next two instructions? You need to do leave. Okay, the most important thing I mentioned earlier is leave's goal is to reconstruct the original state of EBB and ESP, okay. Remember when we started the program, the ESP was pointing to this location. So we need to get exactly the same location back and EBB is zero. So let's see whether we, we get that. We do step instruction and now we print ESP. Yeah, we got A0, the, the, this is the address ESP was pointing to and we should get EBB to be zero as well, yeah. So, Leave is essentially reconstructing the state of EBB and ESP. All right, that's basically leave. We can also uh, rewrite leave as follows. Let me do that quickly. Instead of leave, we can uh, do EBB to ESP. That means we reconstruct the state of ESP 
and we do pop EBB. So this is same as this is same as leave. Okay, leave is a shortcut for two these two instructions, if you will. Okay, let's compile and see what happens. And load it to GDB again. And disassemble this and put a breakpoint at the very first instruction, right? Print the value of EBB, which should be zero, ESP, okay, with the same address because the ASLR is turned off. And now uh, we can continue. And uh, I will show to you that I, I argued that these two instructions are same as leave. So let me put a breakpoint at this place then. Let's push EBB, okay, which means the stack pointer should go down four bytes. Yeah, it went down four bytes. And now let's do move ESP to EBB. Okay, we're done with that. That means both ESP and EBB shall point to the same location. Yeah. What is the next instruction? Subract 16 bytes. Okay, we subtracted it. So we should see, yeah, subtraction is done. What are the next two instructions? We'll do move EBB to ESP. Okay, you can see EBB is different and ESP is different. We will do move to confirm that. Okay, now ESP is same as EBB. Very good. This is exactly what we had earlier. And then, um, we will pop. Pop means transfer the content of the current stack pointer to the EBB register. Okay, so we can examine what is there on top of the stack very quickly. The top of the stack points to the place where the EBB was pushed. Okay, so now we should be able to uh, step instruction. So EBB should be zero and the ESP should be pointing to the place where we originally started. Yeah, where was the ESP? ESP was pointing to this location and we reconstructed it.